The Oklahoma Beef Quality Assurance Program is a voluntary producer certification program that's designed to help assure consumers that the beef they purchase either in the grocery store at the retail counter or if they go to a restaurant and buy beef that it's safe and of high quality. Uh, it's also designed to help producers make a connection that their daily production practices will can and will affect the uh, safety and quality of that product even as far back as the cow-calf segment of the industry. Again, it's voluntary and it's producer-led. Uh, in Oklahoma, the Beef Quality Assurance Program is a cooperative effort of the Oklahoma Beef Council and OSU Extension. I'm Paul Beck, State Beef Extension Specialist at Oklahoma State University. For growth promoting implants, the placement of, of where we put them is essential in, in, in their uh, activation. We want to put them in, on the back side of the ear, sub Q, just under the skin, in the middle third of the ear. It's important, but it's really simple and, and fairly straightforward and quick to get them placed correctly. My name is David Lallman. I'm an extension beef cattle specialist here at Oklahoma State University. We want to take just a minute to talk about ear tag placement. So if um, probably one of the, the easiest way to think about this is if you can divide an animal's ear into three vertical sections or thirds, uh, you'd like to aim for the middle vertical section. You can see where this cow was tagged uh, with a, an old fly tag and that's right in the middle of that middle vertical uh, one-third section. And then, again, if you can divide the ear into three horizontal sections, uh, you want to aim again for that middle one-third. And in this case, that's going to be right between these two cartilage ribs that you can see here. And if you can put that ear tag right between those, uh, that's generally the placement that will lead to the least amount of problems and help her uh, ear stand up over a long period of time as well as reduce possibility of injury to the animal. So talking about tag placement again, uh, you can see in this model ear where these two tags are placed in that middle vertical uh, one-third between the two ribs. In this case, uh, uh, the recommendation is to place an electronic identification tag seen here on, on your left slightly closer to the head of the animal. So one of the other keys to a successful implant is sanitation of that site. If we can uh, clean that off of any fecal material or dirt, uh, it'll make it much more successful. If we introduce uh, bacteria or, or dirt into that injection site, it will form a abscess and wall off around that, restricting blood flow to that implant and the active ingredient will not be able to make it into the bloodstream. So to do that, we keep some disinfectant by the chute side. We can brush that off to clean it or scrape it off and then brush it off. We can also clean off the, the uh, needle of the implant gun with one of these rollers or a large sponge to sanitize the equipment and the location of the injection. Here we've got a tagger and then two components to the tag. Uh, one we consider to be the male portion of the tag and the other, uh, the visual identification tag itself, of course, has a female receptacle. And when you're tagging, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna slide the male portion of the tag over the pin, place uh, the female portion in the tagger be behind the clip, and then just bring the two components together right before you place the tag in the animal's ear to make sure that those components are lined up. 